Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will explain you how you can use the Salesforce flow to assign the records to a queue. So in Salesforce, records are used to distribute and assign between the teams to share the workload. And queues in Salesforce is nothing but a group of users that shares the assigned tasks amongst them. So queues in Salesforce are used to managing cases, leads, tasks, contact requests, orders, service contract, and the records of other custom objects. And we can also assign the records manually to the user. But for that, we have to go to the record tabs and there we have to manually assign the records to the user. With the help of Salesforce flow, we can automate the process of assigning records to the user or a queue. So in this video, we are going to learn about the process that how we can automate the process of assigning records to a queue. And to assign uh, records to a queue, it is required to have an existing queue in your system. And also I will mention the step by step guide in the video description from where you can access and follow it. And before starting this, I would like to introduce our newly launched Salesforce admin course. And also I will mention the course link in the description from where you can access it. So first let me show you the course content, then we will continue to the topic. So this is the Salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website. And I will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course. So these are the modules that we have covered in this course. So it's a beginner to advanced level Salesforce course and it, there are 9 plus modules and 20 plus hours SD video. And you will also get the PDFs and the certification after the completion. And also there is an offer for 50% discount for the early birds. So, so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course. And if you subscribe this course right now, you have to pay only $99 instead of $199. So even if you are a beginner, then you will understand each and everything in this course. And to get this course, you can redirect to our website. And from there, you can subscribe to this course. So now let's move back to. So as of now, I've logged into my Salesforce developer account. And here in this example, we are going to assign the lead records to a queue with the help of a Salesforce record trigger flow. So here the condition of assigning the leads to a queue is that when a lead rating will be called then it will be assigned to a specific queue that we are going to define in our flow so to assign records to a queue you must have an existing queue to which you will assign records so first let me show you how you can create a queue so on the setup page go to this quick find box and here search queues and under the users you can see these queues so click on it so here in the queue setup you have to click on the new button and here enter you have to enter the label and queue name and you can also select the objects for example we are assigning queue to the lead record so we will select the lead object and after this in the section queue members you have to select the members for this queue and after selecting the object in the queue members you have to click on the save button so here we have an existing queue code leads then and we are going to assign uh, lead records with cold rating to this queue and in this queue group we are having five users so let's move ahead and see the process that how we will create the flow so from here i will again navigate to the setup window and in the quick find box search and select flows and in the flow setup window click on the button new flow and here select the option record trigger flow and click on the create button and in this step we are going to configure the record trigger flow so the object we are going to select in this example is leads and after this we have to select the condition that when this record is growing to trigger so here we have selected the condition when a record is created and in the condition requirements we have selected when all condition are met so that we can so that we can enter the entry condition for this record trigger flow According to our scenario, when the rating of a lead is pulled, then this record will trigger. So the field we will select here is rating and the operator will be equals and the value will be the cold. And here select the option fast field updates. So we have configured the record trigger conditions. And now in the next step, we have to add a get record element to the flow. So here we will select the get record element and here we have to enter the label and the api name for the get record element so here i have entered the label in the api name and after this i will select the object as group so we have selected the option group because the queue is a form of group and after this and in the condition requirements we have to select the field as developer name 
so this developer name is the name of the queue that we are going to assign to this flow and the value will be the name of the queue so here i will enter the api name of the queue that is cold leads and after this i will add an assignment element to the flow so here click on this assignment element so here we will enter the label in the api name for this assignment element and after entering the label in the api name in the set variable values select the variable as record lead and then select owner id and operator will be equals and in the value we have to select the get record element with its id that we have created so here select group from fetch code leads that is the get record element and after this select and after this select the id that is the group id so as of now we have completed the flow so here click on the save button and enter the flow label and the flow api name and here and after entering the flow label and flow api name click on the save button and after saving the flow we will activate it so that we can use it and after activation i will navigate back to my salesforce developer console and from here we will navigate to the leads tab so here we are going to create a new lead record with the cold rating so let's see if we will create a lead with the cold rating then if it is going to assign this lead to the queue that we have selected in the record trigger flow so after entering the other fields i have selected the rating as cold and then i will click on the save button so as we can see the lead is created and here in the details you can see the lead owner is cold lead that is the queue that we have assigned in the record trigger flow so in this way we can assign records to the queue using the salesforce flow so this was all about automating the process of assigning records to the queue using the flow and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye